My name is Christopher Klotz, Director of Spiritual Formation at Lipscomb University in the Athletic Department. Uh, we want to thank you for your interest in faith and sport and how those two worlds uh, on the surface may feel separate, but ultimately we believe that all things are spiritual, even the environment of sports. And so God has a tendency and a way of working in that environment, and so we're grateful for your uh, interest. If you're seeing this video not connected to our monthly email and you'd like to be uh, included in that distribution list, uh, sh shoot me an email at cpklotz, that's K-L-O-T-Z, at lipscomb.edu. And we'd love to, to send that to you monthly as an encouragement, uh, as a challenge to you. Again, thank you to everyone who contributes uh, to that email, uh, just sharing their heart and their lives and what God is up to in the world of sports. Uh, welcome back to school. Uh, it's August. We're excited that uh, for some of you, you've started. For some of you, you're about to begin. I uh, wanted to just share one thought as you begin this new school year, this new journey. Uh, the thought comes out of the Sermon on the Mount, a pretty famous passage of Scripture where Jesus is with his disciples and a large crowd of people begin to gather. And so he goes up on the mountain and he begins to teach his disciples what life is like in the kingdom of God. Right? We see these beautiful verses known as the Beatitudes, and quickly we get into a, another part of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus says, you have heard it said something, but I tell you, and Jesus begins to flip their thinking upside down. Right? We see this at first. Jesus says, you've heard it said, do not murder. But I tell you, anyone who gets angry at his brother or sister is subject to judgment. He goes on to say, um, you've heard it said, do not commit adultery. But I tell you, do not look lustfully upon a man or a woman. And so you see, Jesus begins to flip life upside down. We do the same thing as we walk with our student athletes, as we say, hey, you've heard it said, and fill in the blank with what you've heard about athletics. Uh, take a second and think about it. What have you heard? about athletics. You've heard it said, you have to win or you are a nobody. You've heard it said, you have to be a contributor, you have to be a starter, you have to log minutes and get points and score goals and be the fastest in order to have any value or any worth. You've heard it said, you see, we can go on forever and ever and ever. You've heard it said, you have to make it in the professional leagues or your career was a waste. You see, but all of these are lies. <laughs> this is what the culture is telling you. And this is what Jesus is saying. Hey, you've heard it said, but now I tell you. And so here is the challenge. Well, what does Jesus say? You've heard it said one thing about sports and culture, but then Jesus says, but I tell you. Well, where do you find that? I'll give you a couple of thoughts. Number one, you pray and you discern and you listen to the voice of God. But number two, you look very directly at what Jesus says in the scriptures. What does Jesus say? I'll give you one example. Hey, if you're hurt, the culture says you have no value to a team. Where Jesus says, you are my son, you are my daughter, whom I'm well pleased, whom I love. This is the truth. You see, no matter your performance, no matter your uh, place on the team, God loves you. God sees you. God cares for you deeper and more fully than you could ever imagine. And that is the truth. And so as you begin a new school year, you might be tempted to believe the lies of you've heard it said, fill in the blank. I, I challenge you to think about the things that most consume your mind and your thoughts and ask yourself, well, what does Jesus say? You see, the, the truth of that statement, <laughs> it's wild. If you take your natural impulse and you flip it upside down, that's probably what Jesus would have for you. You've heard it said this, but I tell you, Jesus tells you something different. I'd ask you, uh, friends, as you begin a new school year, uh, to challenge yourself to actually dig in and think about and, and try and discover what Jesus actually says about the thing that's consuming your mind and your heart the most. Uh, man, we love you. We're so grateful and excited for all that God has for you uh, in this, this year to come, uh, not just athletically, but the things that he has much bigger than that the things that he's doing to shape and form you and grow you into the man or the woman that he desires you to be. Um, we ask that you would go in peace, that you'd be blessed, and that you would discover what Jesus says about the very things that you put your hands, your mind, your heart, your body to every single day.